Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. It is June 28th, 2023. Time to clock in and see if we can find us a price action setup using price action strategy. So we're going to look around, but I'm not going to bait and switch you because I know the title is got you intrigued. So I did a video the other day called uh, why trading is easy. And I just explained that when you understand the, uh, how to read a price chart that allows you to uh, that allows trading easier because you're just you're looking for the exact same patterns day after day after day after day. And after you do that for some time, after you get some time under your belt of doing that, of course, it gets easy like anything else in life that you do every day um, will begin to get easy. So, you know, I went over that, had some inter interesting comments. Of course, people are mad when you say trading is easy. So let's talk about why trading is hard, right? I gave you why trading is easy. So the reason trading is hard is one word. That one word is discipline. That's it. Trading is hard because it requires a high level of discipline. I know you've heard this before. And you're thinking like, oh, he sounds just like everybody else. But no, it's discipline. Here's how I can prove it. There are so many strategies in the world that work. People don't realize that. I mean, you know, I talk about price action trading every day because that's what I enjoy. And that's what has worked for me. That's just one strategy out of, I mean, tons that that work. Um so what I'm saying is this, I can hand you a win and proven strategy, several, several. That does not mean you're gonna be able to take it and make money. There's plenty of people who are actually using proven strategies right now, um, but they're still losing. Reason being is because it doesn't matter what strategy I hand you, if you have not overcome the discipline hurdle, that each and every trader has to overcome you won't make money because there's so many pitfalls let's just i mean there's so many pitfalls we got um let's talk about let's see how many pitfalls we got simple pitfalls and not following the rules all right so i could i could tell you yeah you know whenever you get a nice beautiful signal candle off the ema only take that that's the rule, but then you would take a signal candle up here that ain't nowhere near the EMA. You would take a suspect signal candle. You, you know, all that. All you would break the rule, right? So anytime you break a rule, that's a lack of discipline. That's a lack of discipline that made you break that rule. That's a discipline issue, or you know, so you may say, or we may say, wait for the candle to close. So simple as that. The rule for for whatever system may be. To wait for the candle to close but no you want to sneak in early so you sneak in early and then you think this candle is finna end strong and it turned into a falling hammer on you and now you're trapped because you weren't disciplined enough to wait for the candle to close so see there's there's so many little pitfalls with trading i mean that may sound that may be a little thing but you do it enough you'll find out like dang i lost again all because i didn't wait for the candle to close so it's little things like that. And those are the little things. So then when you get to talking about the big things, like your strategy may be, you know, um, not to have more than two losses in a day. You know, so you may say, hey, all right, if I if I lose twice, I'm 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 gonna lock it up for the day. All right. So the question is, what happens when you lose twice? Did you lock it up for the day? Or did you keep trading? Did, did two losses become three? Did three losses become five? Did you look up and five losses now are 10? Hey, hey, I know I'm, I know I'm preaching to somebody who know what I'm talking about here. Over trading. It's a monster. It's a killer. It's a killer of most. Did I just box something up that looked exactly like this? 
I mean, exactly like this. It's the uh, over trading. It's the killer of most traders. You know, you could be trading good. Sis could be going well. You could be stacking money, growing the account real nice. And then decide to over trade one day. Give it all back. Over trade it happens to many traders that would and that should be in the money. But over trading has kept you out of it. Swore I had to box this up already. Yeah, that over trading, it's a it's a real killer. So that's what makes trading hard. What you actually do every day is not hard, but the mental game, the mental game is what's hard in trading. So just wanted to give my little two cents on that of why trading is hard. And it basically comes down to discipline. Because there's plenty of trades out there. You could trade price action like me. You could trade Fibonacci setups. You could trade harmonic patterns. There are plenty of proven. You can just, you know, take different types of scalps. You know, there's some people who can use indicators. I can't, but because to me, they all lag. But there's plenty of people. You, you find these videos all the time on YouTube. People using indicators, you know, using several EMAs. And if they cross, they take trade. Hey, there's plenty of proven strategies out here. Tons of them. Tons of them. But can you be disciplined enough? You know, and can you take responsibility? See, I believe people like using indicators because when you lose, you can blame the indicator. You can say, hey, I waited for the RSA to get to the top. It was overbought. The MACD said do this. I had a cross happening here with this indicator. So I did everything that, you know, they told me to do with these indicators and it didn't work. So, you know, it ain't on me. It's on the indicators. People, people, you know, you still lost at the end of the day, whether you blame yourself or the indicators. But I believe, you know, get rid of them indicators. There's nobody to blame but yourself. Then you can take better responsibility for what happened with the trade. You can look at the trade and say, oh, you know what? That setup actually wasn't as clean as I thought, or I said that signal kind of was terrible. That's one thing about price action trading. When you really get a handle on price action trading, you can evaluate every trade, especially every loss. And you can really say, you know what? This wasn't as great of a setup as I thought. Um, we had already hit the top four times, you know, I took the fifth touch, or you may say I didn't get a trend, trend break retest. There's there's different way. You, usually it's, for me, it's the signal candle. You know, I took a shake, shaky signal candle. Um, so that's what I love about price action though. Um, you, can, you can see why the trade didn't work. Then you can improve upon that to catch more winners. That's, so that's why, that's what I love about price action. So let me get off my soapbox. I think I fulfilled my responsibility. I didn't bait and switch you. In my opinion, trading is hard all because people lack discipline. You get that discipline together, trading will become easier. It's pretty much simple as that. Let's see what we got here. Man, if this thing's bouncing in the same spot every time, I'm still going to box it up. It was bouncing in the same spot every time. I'm gonna call this the bottom. I'm gonna go off that history back there. Dang. That would make that the top though. Yeah, we ain't been to the top in a minute. <sighs> Haven't been to the top in a minute. This is a nice dollar strength happening here. This would need to have been 10 minutes. I'm not prepared. Let me get ready here. All right. Um, this looks good. Rolling back to the EMA. But it's been at this bottom for a while. This is exactly what I'm saying. You know, so I had one touch here, right? Worked beautifully. One touch here worked beautifully. This touch would have worked also. I would have took these because it broke out. This touch worked. <clears throat> Problem is we back again already, so I'm just I don't know. Trend down, trend break. <clears throat> Excuse me. Retesting. Now we got a double bottom, but we are outside the range. Up. Oh. Now we back inside. Yeah, this this touch here would have been nice. Now at this point you would have been a candle in already and still moving up. 
But this is kind of struggling to me. I'm going to star it up, but I'm not going to take that trade. It's a little struggle. And that EMA is right there on you. It ain't, you ain't got no space. I mean, if it bounces off this EMA hard, it could be back negative in your pocket in no time. Hmm. All right. See what we got started up here. Okay, Swiss is looking really nice. Swiss. <laughs> did I call it or did I call it? Right off that EMA, right back in your pocket, real fast. Like, did not like that one. Although it may make the high, higher low now that I would like, but yeah, it's making it right now, too. We got a low pushback, higher low, with a beautiful single candle. This would be dollar strength, but it's just it's too close. EMA too close. Y'all see that thing jump up at the end there? Beautiful signal candle. Mm, dud it out. See there? Nope, I don't like it. Don't like it. I'm not really seeing nothing out here today. Let me start over. I know I was talking. All right, tear down. It's just trying to reverse. We would have missed our entry. Our entry would have been, yeah, maybe, yeah, that's the yeah, end. It was, that was just choppy. Nothing here. Bouncing in different spots. Audi dollar. Maybe in a range, but it's bouncing in different spots too. Cast okay, Swiss, something told me that this looks pretty good for five minutes. We got a long way down on this. But the lower high just happened so far away. I don't like it. Okay, yeah. This is actually ranging pretty nice, but this is uh, it's small. I mean, it's making it to the top in like three or four candles. A little too small for my tasting. Yo, Smith was in a range. We broke out, had a nice rally base rally. Making a high now. High push down. Trying to make a lower high. Pound breaking out of that little area. Euro Huff making that high, lower high entry. Yep, right there. Euro Yen, I don't know where I want to go. Euro New Zealand. Dollar cat. Dollar Swiss. Look at it. Struggling. Told you. Told you. It's too close. Called that one. It's too close. And we haven't been bouncing out of there good. And dollar yen. Nothing. Dollar ruble. All right, ain't nothing out here right now. So we'll come back later, see what, see what else we can find. As for right now, 
There's nothing out here, so we'll be back. All right, so came back up to this cast Swiss, and we see we've had these bounces off the top. Uh, we traded. Uh, we trade, yeah, we traded down into this range, so we really expect to break out the bottom. So taking a short is what we want to do. So we got this trend up. We got a touch here, came down, hit the bottom, worked our way back up. Now though, what's more important is that we're getting a trend up, two leg back trend break. Now we're retesting to make the new high, which will bump us right into our kill zone right here. So. That's what's more important. Price action is making um, our cycle trend up, trend break, retest. And then, so what we're looking for is a nice rejection candle like this, right off the top of the range again. And that'd be our entry. So we'll see if that setup develops, but that'd be our play. And I don't really see anything else out here. Euro yen is kind of bouncing here again. Oh, by the way, that dollar Swiss actually would have worked. It's coming back now, but if I had took this first one that I saw um, at 10 minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, it actually works. Then even if I took this one, which I thought was the better one, of course it works too. This would have been 10. So. I didn't like it, it was congested. I did like these signal candles though, and they they would have worked. They would have worked. But that over, my overall thought is still working. Look how we got we made it all the way up here and couldn't keep going. There is sell pressure in this area right here, which is why I skipped this trade. Because there's there's clearly sell pressure here. We got even more information that there's sell pressure. So you just don't want to go against that. You know, I'd rather skip it and look for something better. Here we go. Cast Swiss. Now that's price action. Trend up, two legs back, two legs to a new high. One, two, now that's, that's some price action right there. Straight to the kill zone. See what we get here. Look at the EMA, it's a mile away. It's how we want it. This is our 10 minute setup. We're in the kill zone. I would like that to break higher if possible first and then drop down but may not get that but we see we got some this has been resistance again coming off the top mile away to the EMA. We've already had a trend up, trend break retest. Pretty strong looking signal candle. If we can get a good close, which is coming. Good close, good close, good close. Good close, we're in. All right, this is our 10 minute trade. We see we got plenty of room to the CMA and we're expecting to come to the bottom of the range 10 minutes
Okay, pull it down, hold it down. We got a final minute here. Hold your horses. Final minute, 40 seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. It's coming for us. Rejection. 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 Five seconds. Rejection. Rejection. That was tight. That was tight, y'all. I don't know why I keep having these last second scares. I mean, it was a very comfortable trade. Last second scare, so. Anyway, again, 10 minutes is key. And uh, 10 minutes got us out of there, so. Good setup, good signal candle. Again, we had price action on the side. We had a trend up, trend break. One, two legs up to a new high, rule of two. Those who've taken the course know what I'm talking about. Right to the kill zone. We got the good signal candle. We took it and bang, good win. And that is, uh, that's 10 in a row by the way too. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're on a tear. So good trading, uh, another good entry. But hey, you saw today why trading, I explained today why trading is hard, and this is why trading can be easy. If you understand the market cycle, understand what you're looking for, and when you see it, take it, uh, trading can be easy. So it can be easy, it can be hard. The deciding factor is actually you. It's not the system, it's not the indicator, it's not the mentor, it's not the coach. At the end of the day, once you have you know, once somebody has given you a proven system, you're the common denominator and everything you've tried, the common denominator is you. And if you don't fix that discipline, it'll never work. But if you have discipline, you can run any system. So just remember that trading is hard because possibly because of you and a lack of discipline, which we all battle with each and every day. So that's my little tidbit and learn how to read a price chart, increase your discipline, and trading uh, won't be as hard anymore. So please like, share, subscribe, yeah, you know? Do that youtube -y stuff for me. I greatly appreciate it, I appreciate all the comments, and we'll be back to do it again tomorrow. My name is JD, and as always, I wish you increase on the Sutton. Bye-bye. We would like to thank you for tuning in to another Increase episode with JD. If you want to learn how to price action trade, please visit www.jdhider.com and you will find his brand new course, IOTS, Price Action Trading System. We thank you again, and as always, we wish you increase on the sudden.